Greece played host to the 10th rally of the WRC's global tour and it was a glittering start on Thursday at the Olympic Stadium. The stage win to Thierry Nerville in front of a sellout crowd. Friday was one of the hardest days of the season. Craig Breen luckless once again. Friday's second run over the rough Lutraki stage, a tyre debeaded on his Puma and two minutes were lost for the Irishman. His chances of victory heavily dented. The happiest man in Greece on day one was Pierre-Louis Loubet. He won his first WRC stages ever and at one point led the rally. He wouldn't complain about the man who took his lead, it was his hero, Seb Lowe, the nine times champion over the final few corners of the day. A terrific one for M Sport. Saturday and things started to break and go wrong very quickly. It had all been going so well for M Sport and for Lowe. But at the end of stage eight, he stopped to investigate an issue with his alternator. There was to be no fix. Despite help from his team, the clock had beaten the rally leader. His weekend finished there. The championship leader, Rod and Perra, struggled opening the road on Friday and finished the day ninth. On Saturday, he whacked a tree with the rear left of his Yaris in stage nine. It put a wheel out of true and ripped the boot from his car. That was bad to worse for what should be the champion elect. Another Yaris was lost in stage 12 when Esapeka Lappi developed a problem with the fuel feed. The carnage continued when Gus Greensmith, after a strong morning, was forced to pull over in stage 11. Oitanak was in second place. He sorted a differential issue at lunchtime service and took that second place when Lappi's fuel problem hit. But you know, he wants to be leading this rally. For the time being, that's Nerville's place. Two stunning stage wins put him top of the pile in the morning. He now knows he gets a chance to make up for throwing away a victory at home in Belgium last time out. Sunday morning, and what was this? This was Toyota's best place Yaris, Takamoto Katsuta, and it was wounded with a tire off the rim. What a scare for the Japanese star and right at the end of a horrible weekend for his team. A minute lost, but sixth place, a valuable sixth place was maintained. In fifth, Craig Breen, an encouraging weekend for him in the end. He had a horrible Friday, losing time changing that wheel. His progress since then had been impressive. In fourth, Lube, who had lots to feel proud about. Saturday might have unraveled in front of his eyes, but Friday had been a wonderful day. The Frenchman's ambition had been to finish in the top five. He had gone one place better than that. The third step on the podium was filled by Danny Sordo. This is the 25th time he's come third, and the third time this season. He struggled on the opening day, but he hadn't driven in anger since Sardinia. So with that in mind, it was a masterful drive by the Spaniard. Oitanak hates having to settle for second place, but that's what he'd been told he had to do. But in the power stage, Oit gave Hyundai and everyone a display of what he really could do. Committed, controlled, calm at the wheel, enough to clock the fastest time and claim the full five bonus points on the last stage of the weekend. And it finished with victory for Nerville. No stress for him, no nerves now on this power stage. The Belgian knew what was needed for this finish. Thierry's first victory of the hybrid season and Hyundai's first ever podium lockout. A 1-2-3. It has been a tough season so far and uh, to get the victory finally after a very difficult weekend in Belgium, uh, it's a release. But uh, yeah, um, I think the most important is that we have a 1-2-3 for the team. Um, after all those years, finally we got it and it's a historical moment for, for the brand, for the team. Everybody who has put all those efforts uh, in this, and uh, I think uh, it's a nice reward. So Nerville took a spectacular win. Tanak second, but with maximum bonus points from the power stage. Then Sordo in third, completing that historic Hyundai podium. M Sport fill fourth and fifth with Lube and Breen. So Rotten Perra is still very much in the driving seat in the championship, but his lead has been reduced to 53 points with three rallies remaining. He could lift the title in New Zealand, then again Tanak could continue his almighty comeback. 
Toyota still lead the manufacturers, but their advantage has also been trimmed following their poor display in Greece to just 63 points. Hyundai will be celebrating all the way into the Southern Hemisphere after their historic 1-2-3. Ebsport Ford are in third, and we'll see you in New Zealand.